All right, so start with the hands on the hips, tip the pelvis, reach the front hip bones away from you, and then tuck the buttocks under, pull the hip bones towards your chest. Again, stretch the hip bones, front hip bones away from you. So we're just pumping the, the, the pelvis a bit to try to get some movement in the lower back. Then you're tipping the hip bones back towards you to flatten the back. When you sit on the bike for a long time, the pelvis tends to get stuck in this position. So we're seeing if we can just <clears throat> do some pumping, get some blood moving in and around the sacrum, lower back. Really important, this movement for blood flow in the low spine. All right, so now try to hold neutral. What does that mean? That means that you're not tucked under and you're not all the way arched. So holding neutral, take the right foot in the strap and see if you can just hold neutral with the right foot in the strap. Then see if you can begin to straighten the right leg. To what amount? When do you feel the back of the leg pulling so much that it makes your butt tuck under and your back flatten? So we'll just go slow today, no rush. This is kind of assuming you've already done your cycling or you've done a bunch this week and these are some good stretches to help you mellow out. So now see if you can start to breathe the back of the leg towards straight. So that means where you feel tension in the back of the leg, mentally direct your breath, direct your energy into opening it up. Now start to stretch the left leg straight. So begin to slide, slide the left heel out along the floor. <clears throat> Roll the inner left thigh down, push through the left heel. Both legs as straight as possible, still holding the neutral curve in the lower back. Neck long, shoulders relaxed. Then re-bend the right knee, set the left foot down both feet on the floor. All right, now take the strap across the left foot. Start with the left knee bent, just working on creating a neutral tip in the pelvis here. Then slowly start to stretch the left leg towards straight. Again, be patient. So when you just jam yourself, like when you try to jam a leg straight or something or push through tension that you're feeling, it only creates more tension. So it's counterproductive. Instead, in this part, you kind of have to shift mindset. Instead of trying to kill it or crush it like you would in your workout, or like you would while you're doing spin or cycling, just be patient and breathe. More allowing instead of doing. Effort towards straightening the leg without any strain. Now start to straighten the right leg. See if you can breathe the legs towards straight without clenching in the jaw, tongue, neck, or shoulders. All right, then re-bend the knees, set the feet down, roll over to your side, <clears throat> and press yourself up. So now you're gonna need a wall. <clears throat> Move your hips close to the wall, buttocks maybe about a foot away from the wall, maybe a foot and a half, the hips are very tight. Then cross your right ankle over your left knee and slowly start to slide the left heel down the wall. So what you're looking to do here is flex through the right foot, but then let the top right thigh release down and away from you. The hips shouldn't be jumping up here. You should let the buttock drop down. <clears throat> so as you feel the hips release, look to see that the two sides of the waist are equal in length. Let the shoulders relax. So let the wall do the work for you. Just breathe into your hips.
All right, then change the cross. So slide, slide the right leg up, cross the left ankle on the outside of the right knee, and slowly start to slide the right heel down the wall. All right, then slide the right leg back up, roll over to your side. <clears throat> okay, so now we're gonna take that same cross of the legs, flat on the back away from the wall, and then go into a twist. <clears throat> so with the right ankle crossed over, let the legs fall over to the left, but try to keep the right shoulder heavy. <clears throat> so your hips and your spine need time to start to loosen up and unwind. So as you hold here, the work is to just breathe evenly in and out through the nose. Smooth, steady breathing. Your muscles need that oxygen. Tissues need that oxygen to start to open up. Then bring the legs back to center, change the cross, cross the left ankle over the right knee, slowly let the legs fall over to the right, keep the left shoulder grounded. Bring the legs back to center. Now cross the right knee over the left knee and start to hug the knees towards the chest. <clears throat> this is a modified variation of Gomukhasana. If you're more flexible, you could grab a hold of the ankles or even the outer feet. Then you'll start to pull the knees a little bit closer towards your chest, but trying to let the buttocks shoulders lift up. All right, then release, change the cross of the legs. Again, just start with the knees. Maybe it's a lot just to pull the knees in. Maybe you can go for the ankles, most advanced or most open rather than the hips would be to grab a hold of the outsides of the feet. <clears throat> 